Welcome! We are in Slovenia, baby. Blimey, where are we going here? That is amazing. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you might remember last year I went over to the Canaries and met Joy Martin and Jose. They have since started a new venture here in Slovenia. So Andy, TMF, he came out last year and he did um, a couple of vids, so check them out on Andy's channel if you've not yet seen them. And now it's my turn. <laughs> Yesterday it was like 36 degrees, I think it was, when we came out. It was a bit foggy this morning, but that will burn off. So this morning, we've been joined by Peter here. And we are off. Uh, I think we're going up the Adriatic coast today. The weather is supposed to be scorching until around Monday. And then I think we've got some rain and thunderstorms coming in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And obviously I head home Thursday and the good weather returns. <laughs> Typical. So I think we're going to try and make the most of the next few days riding. So we've got big days for the next few days. Sit back and enjoy it. So a short wee motorway section, just to settle in for the day. You're okay. All good. You? Cox boiling. It's 26 degrees already, folks. I think it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> How is it at home? Ugh, stuck behind trucks. The curse of TMF. <laughs> Welcome back, hang on, sync them up. Welcome back folks, slight issue there, we crossed back into Croatia over the border and um, the camera stopped, so I don't know what happened there. I've never known it at sort of first worldly type borders, but sometimes they zap any electronics. I know they do it at the Thoeta land crossing from Spain into Morocco. I've had it there where the bikes have just wouldn't start, but never the cameras. But anyway, we're back on. What a stonking day. It's 30 degrees, but honestly, it feels about 38. It's quite muggy. Lovely, beautiful roads. Right, on we go. Well, a little bit of splash, a coffee and some ice cream. We are now heading just up to the Bosnian border. We're going to an abandoned airbase, actually, from the war. It's built into the side of the mountain. 40 degrees. Four zero. 40 degrees. Jeez. It's a shame, folks. Um, a little bit, as we crossed the border there, we did this sort of cross-country, back-country twisty road, and uh, like I was saying, the, the cameras weren't working. But we went through a couple of little villages and, you know, you could see all the artillery damage and gunfire on the buildings. You suddenly realised that this this whole area was, you know, this was all part of the Kosovan, Bosnian, Serbian conflict. And it's weird to look around now and think that, well, 30 years ago, I suppose it was, was it the 90s? So 25, 30 years ago, this was a war zone. And what a beautiful country, though. ride so much better we added about five clicks to the rear suspension just firmed it right up so much better it was really wallopy before dead but bumpy so as you put the power down coming out of bend the bike would be like oh, oh, oh. it's much better now nice ride actually
Welcome. This is a technical station. It used to be a part of the because when we entered uh, the little village, mm -hmm. this is all a part of the complex. Wow. It's just cool to see because here was uh, all the mandatory, the trucks, the yeah. tanks. They used to have service here, the working channels. For yeah, you can see the part, the, the pits. And it looked like this is the only object from the outside. Mm. They did a small base on the outside. Mm -hmm. The main... Uh, Everything's in the mountain. Hidden in the mountain. Yeah. And now we're off to the secret airbase. Shh! We've already been nabbed by the Rosers twice. Oh, you could see a plane in there. There's an old wrecked plane. Apparently, this is all part of the old base, the public bit. Mines. Do not step foot in there. <laughs> There's the old bell down there. Wow. Peter was saying that these runways go like eight kilometers. Phenomenal. And could you see, look, see the shape of the, the door there? That's so the MIGs can just go straight in and out. That is amazing. Well, folks, we're here. This is a secret military base. Shh. There's Peter. Peter's going to tell you a little bit about it. So, Peter, what's this all about? We are now in, at one of the entrances uh, where the airplanes used to take off uh -huh. uh, in a minute if something serious attack would happen to a former country, Yugoslavia. Right. Everything inside the mountain, hidden, all concrete, concrete, and it was uh, like very big. Uh, investment for the I'll Yugoslavian bet. army back in times. How long did it take to build, you know? Not exactly sure, but I think it, they, they built it for over 10 years. Wow. And this was this was sort of decommissioned at the end of the war in the early 90s, uh, 91, 92? Yes, by the Croatian Independence Board. Right. Uh, they mined the doors and everything, yeah. they collapsed. Because they were afraid uh, yeah. the, the, our own planes would attack us. <laughs> it's, it's like something out of James Bond. There's old bill everywhere here, and apparently it's not because this is like a sensitive place. It's because having a huge problem with uh, immigration at the moment. Loads of immigrants are coming over, and obviously everywhere is still landmined, so uh, there's a duty of care there. Uh, the, yeah, there's police everywhere. But what a special place. Right, you can stop taking the mic now. <laughs> angels, look, two little angels. <laughs> It's a special place, isn't it? Oh, a bit of history. No, I don't. I have no stickers with me. I really need to start bringing stickers with me. I keep forgetting. So, there's a KGB one. Jose, could you stand under that for us? We'll get an idea as to how thick that is. Peter just asked the old Bill there if we could fly the drone around here but apparently no because the, there's uh, observation towers like radar and things like that and if they see any flying objects the uh, Apache gunships take off so we best not. Now these are the runways. That's where it ends. <laughs> well, we got to just over 200. I don't know how much more this had. What did you get? What did you get there, Bruce? 201. 201. What'd you get? <laughs> what an amazing place, isn't it? 
Peter was saying that the um, sort of former Yugoslavian arm, army, the air force that was here, they were ready to go 24 hours a day. They were ready to go within six minutes. So six minutes of them being given the order to get airborne, they would be up in six minutes. Nuts, isn't it? And there's the other runway here. <laughs> oh, how much fun could you have there on here? Your very own runway. Uh, Peter was saying that inside, inside there, inside the base, there is a shaft that, with a, a lift that goes all the way to the very top of the mountain, where there's a not like an observation post up the top. A little bit like if you've ever been to the Eagle's Nest over Germany, Austria way. That's got the gold elevator. I don't know if you've ever done that, folks, but that's that's pretty special to go and do that. Look at that. You'd never think there's a military base inside that, would you? What an astonishing piece of engineering as well. Anyway, onwards. Jose's Thank just playing. Know. He's having a little play in the aeroplane. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Where are we going? It's a start. In three hours. Three hours. To Gran Canaria. Beautiful. Can you say? Yeah. Is that recording? Yes. Oh no. Wow, we just come onto this road out of nowhere. What a beautiful place. Oh, I can almost taste that beer at the hotel. Just coming up to the border soon. Um, you know how I was just saying how borders are really easy and there's nothing to worry about? 